a seawall project to protect some New Haven homes. There's a lot of people weighing in. And we've got some folks defending our lieutenant governor after a comment made about her last week. Here is tonight's Voice of the People. Who's going to pay for the seawall? If they want a seawall, let them pay for it themselves. Why should we have to pay for it with the tax dollars or federal money or whatever? These people that lost all their homes around the shoreline, I feel very sorry for them and my heart goes out to them. But my thing is this, why did the government let people build so close to the shore, right close to the water? You know, I wonder if the uh, CEOs of these and top managements of Sears and Kmart and Walmart are going to be working on Thanksgiving Day. I doubt it. But they're making people who work for them that can't afford to lose their job or give up a day's work to come in an extra four or five hours. It doesn't make sense to pull these people away from their families. This is in response right, to the you, uh, caller that asked Nancy Wyman and uh, here we are said she just stands there. Uh, Where have left our left lieutenant uh, governors uh, been in the past? No one has ever even uh, seen them. Ago, and she is uh, there supporting our governor power, uh, as lieutenant uh, governor, uh, and she's visible. By the two of course, she has a job. Uh, as All right, if you have something you want to sound off about, call our Voice of the People hotline, 203-212-WTNH. We'll air some of your messages weeknights right here at the end of our 5.30 p.m. newscast.